So I painted this lid to a, a can of spray paint with this paint, which is, it says acetone based. What the funny thing is, you read, it says, where you say clean up, that's how you know what the solvent is. The clean up on this one, it says, wipe the tip before storing. Now that's your clean up, that's how, it's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, uh, normally actually, just as a, as, a, as a tip on that tip, you would turn it upside down and spray all the air, spray until the, the air at the top is, is drawn by the siphon and it flushes the nozzle. And that's the way to store that. So what I did was I have all my little solvents here. And I hope you can see them all. Uh, acetone being the one that I, I know will work, and I I'll, I'll show you that at the end. But you you don't have to watch it that far. You don't have to watch this video that far. But I thought it would be interesting, and I haven't done this yet. But I thought I well I've got methyl hydrate, which I bought because I thought I'll need that someday, and I've never used it. We'll try it today. But here I'm just going to use basic straight old paint thinner. Let's see, can you see if this, and paint thinner, yeah, it works, but it's, it's not, it's obviously, yeah, it actually is working, uh, but I wonder, you know, it depends on your, the plastic that you have underneath there, some plastics are very fragile, and that, and a paint thinner would, um, would dull it, and eventually eat through it, um, okay. This is interesting, uh, live TV. All right, let's try metal hydrate. What the heck? I've, uh, I've honestly never even opened this. Oh, I guess I have, maybe I have. I don't know why I would. I, fruit, I should really be using gloves here. But I'm making a video, I thought I'd go without my respirator. Metal hydrate, no effect at all. Again, it's an acetone-based um, um, spray paint. This stuff, Goo Gone, is good for uh, stickers that people stick on, that stores stick on their products. I didn't expect it to work on this. Oh, I'm actually really surprised. Uh, I know Goof Off will work, but Goo, Goo Gone, which is like a, a ripoff of Goof Off, that actually works pretty well. All right, let's try a lighter fluid. Of course, let's light the house on fire here. Lighter fluid works, wow. Okay, so you're seeing all these oil-based uh, solvents. Should we try olive oil? What the heck? I'll get yelled at for this, using the, <laughs> the expensive, oh, I just dripped too much. So here's the olive oil. Mm, not really, not, not really. Oh, I guess you could say a little bit, but no. Uh, I was amazed that uh, eucalyptus oil, it's not really an oil, eucalyptus, ex yeah, it's essential oil, extract. I was very surprised by this. They took it right off my finger earlier. I just tr tried it at, by chance. I had no idea it had such power. We use it in, in the laundry. Wow, all right, eucalyptus oil. Gosh, is there anything you can't do? Fantastic. I'm sure that would never harm any plastic. Well, I can't be that sure. So what did we not try? We did not try uh, acetone. Also, I have some furniture stripper. I think I'm gonna I think I'm, wait and do that outside someday. That stuff is nasty. And also sanding sealer, I think is mostly acetone, but uh, that's also extremely nasty. So here's the last one, acetone, obviously the best. It's gonna come right off. And now that I have this on my hands, on my one finger anyway, I need to wash with uh, soap and water right now several times until my fingers get squeaky clean. You can see earlier I put uh, on for the in, the in this on purpose I put this spray paint on these four fingers. Eucalyptus oil was was one of the best and acetone worked really well. This was the homemade remedy of um, borax washing soda and which was a total fail failure. So uh, I'll leave it on the website, but. Uh, Really, not for not for spray paint. Maybe for latex paint, not for spray paint. All right, I hope that helps.